The first mission of NASA's Artemis Moon program is in the books. An uncrewed Orion capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Baja, California this afternoon December 11, bringing a successful end to NASA's historic Artemis 1 moon mission after a 1.4 million miles flight. The splashdown occurred 50 years to the day of NASA's Apollo 17 moon landing, the last astronaut mission to touch down on the lunar surface. Artemis 1 was a shakeout cruise for Orion, NASA's SLS megarocket, and their associated ground systems. Further analyses await, but early indications are that all of this gear passed the test with flying colors, meaning NASA can likely start gearing up for the first crewed Artemis flight, around the moon effort in 2024. NASA originally tried to launch Artemis 1 in late August, but several technical glitches, including a leak of liquid hydrogen propellant, pushed things back a month. Orion experienced a few hiccups during flight. Shortly after liftoff, for example, the capsule's navigating star trackers returned anomalous readings, a problem that the team soon traced to dazzling by Orion's thrusters. Overall, however, the capsule performed well during its debut journey beyond Earth orbit, checking off milestone after milestone as planned. On November 25th, the capsule arrived in distant retrograde orbit, DRO, around the Moon, a highly elliptical path that took Orion 40,000 miles from the lunar surface at its most distant point. On November 26, the spacecraft got farther from Earth than any other spacecraft designed to carry humans, breaking the old record of 248,655 miles set in 1970 by the Apollo 13 command module. Two days later, Orion reached its maximum distance from its home planet, extending the record to 268,563 miles. Orion left the lunar DRO on December 1, then headed for home with a 3.5-minute long engine burn during a close flyby of the Moon on December 5. That long journey, in the 25.5-day-long Artemis 1 mission, finally came to an end on Sunday. The timing was appropriate, coming 50 years to the day after Apollo 17 astronauts Gene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt touched down on the Moon. Cernan and Schmidt left the lunar surface on December 14, 1972, and no humans have been back since. Orion barreled into Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean, far off the western coast of South America, at 12.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. When that happened, the spacecraft was going about 25,000 miles per hour or 32 times the speed of sound. This tremendous speed generated huge amounts of friction, putting Orion's 16.5-foot wide heat shield to the test. The heat shield, the biggest of its kind ever flown, endured temperatures around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly half as hot as the surface of the Sun. Shortly after entering Earth's atmosphere, Orion left again, bouncing off the upper layers of air like a rock skipping off the surface of a pond. This skip maneuver, which no human-rated spacecraft had ever performed before, allows the capsule to cover greater distances and land more precisely during re-entry, NASA officials have said. Orion's three main parachutes deployed it at 12.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, slowing the capsule's descent. The spacecraft splashed down right on schedule at 12.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, about 100 miles off the west coast of the Baja Peninsula. A U.S. Navy ship, the USS Portland, was waiting in the area. The Portland will haul Orion aboard and ferry it to port in San Diego, a journey that will take about a day, NASA officials have said. From there, Orion will travel to KSC for in-depth inspections and analysis. Provided none of the post-flight analyses reveal any serious issues, NASA will be free to begin gearing up for the Artemis program's first-ever crewed flight, Artemis II, which is scheduled to launch astronauts around the Moon in 2024. It only gets more ambitious from there. The agency plans to land astronauts near the Moon's South Pole on Artemis III in 2025 or 2026, a mission that will employ SpaceX's huge new Starship vehicle as a lunar lander. Future Artemis missions will work to set up a research outpost in the South Polar region, which is thought to be rich in water ice. NASA also plans to build a small moon-orbiting space station called Gateway to support Artemis activities. The first elements of Gateway are expected to lift off atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket in late 2024. 
Artemis is a big project, an effort to establish a long-term sustainable human presence on and around the moon, as opposed to the flags and footprints approach of Apollo. The successful completion of Artemis 1 allows NASA to start focusing on those bold next steps, 